this is the last message I'm giving you. Every action has a consequence that you must live with. If you've chosen to put your panties down, I want you to think about HIV and AIDS because you can get it. I want you to think because even a phone can, can pass. I want you to think about being a mother right now and if this person you're having sex with can take care of you. You know, it starts with, oh, Aisha, your heart, you're beautiful. I like your eyes. That is the good part. Let's go and eat a Rolex somewhere. That is the good part. Let's go and dance. That's the good part. <laughs> but once you're starting to put your panties down, there are consequences. Even for you boys, you're going to be forced because there will be people's parents who are so hard. They will force you to marry, to take care of, to take care of house you don't even have. You thought this sex, you'll be just happy, have the sex, and tomorrow there are no unwanted pregnancies. That is the consequence that can happen. Always remember, every action has a consequence. And once you've done it, you live with your consequence. You are telling us that we want to avoid to those men and women relationship. But as we girls, we are facing some problem or the other. Take, for instance, like we could be here at this institute, there are some men who could be lecturers here. And you happen to be maybe doing research or industrial relations. So that man who is teaching you and is like, if you don't sleep with me, I would have to give you the retake. So when you know that you are coming from a, a family which is very poor, and sometimes you may fail to have that, that thousand for the retake, somehow, somewhere, if someone is just more hardy, he or she ending up giving out. Lecturers, lecturers, I know some of you are here, but it's a shame for you saying, first of all, you're paid to lecture these students. Their parents are paying money, and you're telling them, if you don't give me sex, I'm not going to, I'm going to give you a retake. Please go to the nearest police or write to me and give me that man's name. Even if he's in this barrel and he's causing you a lot of problems, he's blackmailing. That man is the third. But there are also girls who force boys. Those girls, stop forcing your fellow boys. They are feeling threatened. They are feeling threatened and I'm very ashamed <laughs> that you're posing. It's not nice. Really, boys, also you, as much as I'm telling these girls, value yourselves and respect your private parts. Maybe, you know, most of us, the teenagers, we are no longer virgin. Excuse me, with due respect, you say some of us are not virgins. Because there are some who are virgins. <laughs> so maybe we can advise some of us who are, who are not still virgin that we can maybe we can use condom. But with understanding. <laughs> and I really wish you can abstain. But if you really cannot abstain, because of the consequences that I know now at my age, because of the danger that I know outside, that's why this is what I wish for you. Even those of you who have already tested, eh, and you know how sweet sex is, I wish for you to stop. You have guardians. So respect that guardian who is giving you 100,000 to go to school. Your parents trust you, and you, you know, these are just words. You may not feel the emotion that is running within me by telling you that. You know, because I'm a woman, I feel I need to live when I have protected my fellow women. I can come, please. And I show these people. Now, I know that women, you can be abused without even knowing. There is a clever boy who is not going to first call you. He's going to first come and say, Oh, hello, Aisha. <laughs> Do you see this? Yeah? He's already touching and before you know it, he has gone where? Where am I? Yeah? <laughs> she is abusing your body without you even thinking about it. Then when he finishes, you're not supposed to, as I've told you as women, women, respect and value yourselves. Don't allow boys to just come and say, hello Aisha. Do you see where I am? <laughs> Yeah.
this. such good children I call you children because Uganda and the world is looking up to you as the leaders of tomorrow and the hope of tomorrow I thank you Farida for those kind words and I must tell you ladies and gentlemen that we are very very lucky some of us when we were at school like you at institutions like you we never had an opportunity for such people to come and talk to us, to guide us. Hanifa, do this. Hanifa, you should not do that. Some of us, it is God who helped us. But those who God, maybe they never uh, listened or feared God, they fell in, in a trap, which we don't want you to do, because we need you for tomorrow. If you don't abstain, you'll you will acquire HIV and AIDS, you will become pregnant, you will lose your future because you will not continue studying. Can I tell you something? Yeah. When you get married, do sex at the right time in the right place. So wait to marry and you go for sex. You will have a lot of sex and you get tired. When you are married, you live in, you live in see your husband coming back and you are like, oh, what we is ready? I hope you are here. Much cooler. Thank you so much. I would like to, to thank uh, Nambi for being innovative and for the good uh, advice you've given to us. This is not your time to have sex. Just like Hanifa talked to you. There is a lot of sex afterwards, which you can even run away from, and the sex is the one facing you. Mama Abana, Hajit Nam Farid, Uganda is proud of you. Uganda.